Hi sisters! Welcome to Pick Me Up Scotty! I may mean, not have much hair left, but I got some pretty flowers. This is how we start 2021. Yo, it's 2021! We survived! We're still here! I sure hope you still are. I hope you are all doing safe and well. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty! I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Bimas Alternative Brick and of course the Lego. Can never forget about them. All kinds of brands. We're gonna start with a bang with this first video of the year with something brand new from Zingbao. You know, I started this channel during Zingbao says. And while those were fun, remember the Urban Village, the Book and Toy Store, the Maritime Museum? You know, they kind of changed it up and went into this whole Chinatown thing, which I still gotta go back and review those and finish those ones off. But it's nice and refreshing to see that they just dropped this right before the new year. I got them all here in the office, except for one, the toy shop. Or, yeah, toy, I think it's a toy shop. That should be arriving any day now. And of course, just a reminder, these are all available on pickmeupscotty.com. There's so much stuff coming in the office, man. It's absolutely insane. Don't worry. You know, I promised you guys I was gonna build a city last year. So I had all these goals. It's just a little delayed. It's gonna get started up. So soon I can't wait to get the Brick City, my Brick City going for you guys. So that should be a lot of fun. So thank you guys for all your support on the store and supporting this channel and commenting, liking and subscribing. It really does help me. And I'm so happy to see all your messages. And the store, by the way, is gonna expand into toys. So we got Toy Me Up Scotty. It's a bit of a soft launch right now, but if you go on the website, you'll see some miniature plastic collectible toys from Rement, which my wife Ida and I actually used to collect a long time ago. So there's a new page for that. Check that out. Another time, another place, another story. Let's waste no time. It's time to look at some new Zingbao. Here we go. So this is Zingbao's Europa Modular Series. This is the flower shop. XB01008. 3,331 pieces. Now I'm kind of jumping out of order for the reviews here. I chose this one first because it just looked really different. It's kind of refreshing. Unique European look to it, I guess. So where they're calling it Europa. Wouldn't want to be ya. But one thing I do have to remind you, if you're going to order these sets like right away, when they're brand new and they just come out, they're going to find mistakes. So this set is not perfect. I had a few missing pieces, or sometimes there was a wrong piece out of like a warped plate, which I'll show you on the inside. So please just be aware of that. And you know, in their future batches, they do kind of like fine tune things and fix things up. And there's some structural things that were not quite there. But overall, I was pretty happy with this. I love the manual. They do the same thing like they do in the Chinatown. Here's the booklet there for you to see. Nice cover. Oh, here's all four of them together. I kind of showed you this last time. It's really nice how they did the inside because they do the same thing like the latest Chinatown stuff. Yeah, so they have the, the sketching by the artist there. There are some new types of minifigures. Interesting. I still prefer classic, but of course they had to stay away from the copyright issues. Well, it's nice, they're doing something different for a change. Okay, if you want to see what the pages look like, colored, easy to follow. Duh, don't look inside there. Watch the video so you can see the interior of this thing. So we're gonna work our way from the outside and then the inside, and we're gonna drop it. Which, you know, I love doing for you guys. The first thing you are gonna notice is loads and loads of flowers, flowers and branches everywhere. I think the set uses like every single type of plant that is available on the market. That could be a good thing or it could be a really bad thing. But I like this one with the big leaves kind of hanging off of it. It's, it's, it's got a really nice look. And just so you know, in my past Zingbao videos, I've complained about the plants before, like bamboos and like pieces, flower popping off and all that kind of stuff. You're going to get a lot of loose pieces on the set because it's using tons of flowers on the inside and on the outside. They'll just kind of like flop over and fall over. They're not as secured as I'd like them to be. It might be actually a little frustrating for you guys because if they pop off on the inside, they're kind of hard to put on because they're so small, it's hard to get your hand inside on the set. With all that said, oh, it looks really pretty. Colors look really nice. It's all tiled on the front there. The overall vibe, the color on this building is actually really nice. I like it. It kind of reminds me of the brick bank from Lego and then they just added the screen. Now, I actually really like the front of this blue. I don't know what kind of color is that. It's like a bluish gray color. I love the window. It is frosted pieces that's being used there. They're not window panel pieces. So would it have been better like a see-through, like more clear? That's no, kind of cool, it's frosted like that. 
And he got this door. This do I love this door, man. You build the door and it's like, yeah, yeah. It's thick brick built. It opens and closes just fine. I was like, yo, it actually looks more like a bank. Now the sign along the top, it says flower shop. That is the only one sticker on this whole set. So that's really good. They're minimizing on stickers. It's all prints on the inside, except that sticker. I think it's the outline green that I don't like. It's kind of just thrown off a little bit. But I like the sign, how it kind of protrudes and sticks out there. You got little, little branches that do pop in the back. Then we come to this door here, which is the tool room. So you got a flower shop and you got a tool room. The door there is also brick built, which is great. It opens and closes just fine. So I was pretty happy that those are original doors. Yay! And I like how they did a little pillar there. So it breaks it up. You got like two little rooms right there. The tool room sign is a print, so that's very cool. And underneath that, I really like the design actually of this whole awning. It almost looks like a church entrance. Now we come to the second floor here, which is the colors are being separated there. It's all white and no issues. Any discolorations? You guys can probably see it better than I do. I think because they're choosing all white, you might kind of see like a difference in color here and there. Well, maybe not, maybe it's just my eyes. It looks very different. Now this thing in the middle, with a pattern, it looks like an Aztec jungle mural. That is like the most bizarre thing I've ever built. I was building going, what What am I doing? What is this? It doesn't look like it belongs to a flower shop. It looks like it belongs to the museum. Well, interesting use of colors. The curtains on the inside, yellow. Well, they're okay. You can actually just take those off if you want it to be more open. If anything, if you're like me and you like to push down on pieces to make sure they're secure, be really careful when you're pushing down those windows. Man, so many times I just like bam and split those things all apart. That's probably my problem, but you know, just be gentle when you're putting the windows together. So you got a flower shop sign here, which is printed on both sides. And it's nice, it's all secured in there, so that's good, it won't pop off or anything. Good job, Jing Bao. So far I'm liking it, what do you guys think? Hey, I like what you're seeing. Then you got the smaller window here. And I almost forgot about the tree. You got this single looking tree. It's kind of barren. It's fine with me, man. You know, when I see branches and stuff that I had to put on sets, I'm like, oh man, it just looks tedious. And I think they're trying to go for the look of the bookstore from Lego. I'm sorry, I haven't reviewed that Lego modular yet. There's so many Lego ones I haven't done yet either. And I had to go down and pick up the police station. Should I review the police station first or the bookstore first? Well, you guys wanted to see more Zingbao stuff. That's what you're here for, right? So on the last floor, you can see the windows there. They do use this yellow, Why? yellow again. Actually, it's not too bad, the yellow, kind of, I don't know. What do you guys think? Now, the good thing is, they're just using a single strip or like a one by six flat tile. You can just take those off if you want to keep it all open. But I guess the idea here was to make it look like it's half open and half closed. Do not ask me about the lobster. The lobster looks like it belongs to a restaurant. So you got the mural that looks like it belongs to a museum. Yeah, lobster looks like it belongs to a restaurant. And you got the bottom part here that looks like a vault that belongs to a bank. Way to go! I like it though. They're wacky and wild. That's A-OK -okay with me. And then you had the final rooftop here, which was very easy to build, by the way. It's a very nice look to it. Now, unfortunately, it's hollow on the inside. You can't get in there, but they actually have room in there. You could do something in there. You can, you can totally do it. So now we come to the side wall of this building. I like the branches there. I thought that was really cool. I think I might have used the wrong color because I couldn't see it. I have very dim lighting at home. So I'm getting probably all the greens all mixed up. That's fine. Decorate it however you want. Put more flowers on there if you want to. You get a lot of spares of the set. I'll show you those before I show you the figures. So that kind of makes up for like missing pieces here and there. There are no mounts to your modulars, but the mounts are on the other side, which we'll see soon. Then we go up to the middle section there. You have a piece of red brick that is sticking out like a sore thumb. Well, it continues on on the inside, which you'll see. But yeah, I was like, oh. The good thing about these buildings are they're using a lot of one by two bricks. So it feels bricky. That's what I always ask for. And then you got this rooftop here, which is, in my opinion, the biggest failure of the set. This thing is held down by one plate going across several. One plate, man. You should go in there if you buy the set and just mount more plates underneath to hold it down. But the overall vibe, I do like how it's shorter than the actual building. You know, you might think, oh, they should have made it longer and bigger. It would probably have been looks more square looking. Yeah, you probably could have like one more room there. We got plenty of modulars, man, that are square and flat and big. So nice for a change. It's just, yeah, that, that rooftop sucks. And you have a little drain pipe there that goes all the way down, which is a nice little touch. The backside, I, yeah, it's pretty plain. I like the staircase, it's secure. 
I don't like the railings of the staircase. Those pieces, I think it's because they molded a white staircase. It's like the stud doesn't quite hold those rail pieces in, so they're gonna pop off. It's, you just rub your hands on it, that all that's gonna just like fly off. Kinda wish it was more secure, or they had like a different design for the railing there. But the frosted window on the back there, looking into the shop, it's nice. It kinda protrudes out, and it has some boxes down below, and a trash can. They could have done more here. I don't know, put more little items in there. You're gonna have to jazz that up yourself. The one thing that surprised me though, the, the, the normal doors that they use are still loose. I think they're just going back to the old style doors. If I just shake it like that, look at that. Yeah, so that, that kind of sucks, man. I'm like, oh, why, why is it so loose? Come on, Zingbo. I like the second level there that you do walk up the staircase and you have a little tiny little bit of balcony. That green door cannot open all the way. Design flaw. They could have maybe extended out this piece a little bit more, actually. Yeah, why not, Zingbo? I could have made this a little bit longer. Chill out there, have a little porch area. The one really funny thing is on the staircase in the back here, underneath, as you're building it, you put a one by two brick underneath, but it doesn't do anything. It's like the most mysterious thing I'm looking at going, why, why they put this here? It has no effect or whatsoever. But anyway, and then on the top, you got two windows there, kind of the same way you build the front as well, very similar. We come to this side of the wall, which is plain, ain't nothing there. But you got the two mounts to put to your regular standard modular. And finally got the rooftop. There's nothing on the top itself. For being a flower shop, it would have actually been kind of cool to see a little greenhouse up there, like we've been seeing in other sets. So that's the exterior for you guys. You know, we'll do the usual. I'll grab some modulars and throw it next to it and see what you think. It's time to take this bad boy off. So they come off nicely. We're gonna grip this carefully and pull it off. There we go. Yeah, no problem. I'm actually a little bit scared to hold it and, and, and move things around for you guys because it feels like all the flowers are gonna pop off. And so far it's doing all right. So I hold it out to you guys and let you see there. Can you see that? That's pretty nice there. All right, so we come into this flower shop in here. It is all tiled on the inside. I like the color and tone and the thing is, it's pretty plain overall. There's nothing like really crazy about it. You know, you've got all the shelves and the table are all the same color. You know, I kind of prefer it like that. And they would have added like all these colors it would have made it too much. So there's actually the flowers inside that are kind of making up for this room. So you come in on the right side, you've got this wall of flowers, roses, red and yellow on the top. And then on the bottom, you got more flowers, lots of flowers. And then you got the cash register there. That's a print and a hundred dollar note print. Yeah, I think those are the same prints that we've seen before, except for the leaf along the wall. Kind of a cartoony looking leaf, but hey, it's a print, no stickers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now we go to the frosted glass area, which you got this nice table. They use cups as the legs, very cool. Underneath, you got boxes down there. Those are empty, by the way. I don't even think you could pull those up unless you pull the table up, but I guess you can put some of your spare pieces down there if you want to. And you got another little bamboo thing there in the pot by the door, a small little flower next to it. Now in the middle, you got the small little counter with more flowers. See, it's kind of repeating now. And on that side of the wall, you got the same kind of shelf that was on the opposite side. The holders are a little bit different. They use ice cream cone holders on the top and on the bottom they have like chance, purpley clear, a vase, a vase. And then along the back, you got the same kind of, you know, shelf there, I guess. That long bamboo piece, that probably the only plant that's really gonna fall out of this part. And two more smaller ones there on the floor. That's it, that's really bare minimum. No studs to hold your fingers down, that's okay. Let's look at the tool room on the other side. So the door opens and closes just fine. I thought it was actually gonna fall off. And you come in here, look at all those one by one tiles. Well, hey, at least it's tiled in there. I guess that's the way you work on the making the flower bouquet. If anything, this room is super small to get your hands in there. You knock one of those plants down, you're gonna use a pair of tweezers to get them back in their slots, man. Or unless you have like tiny hands. Maybe my hands are just too fat. But anyway, lots of plants there, but they are repeating some of the ones from the other room. So you know what? Mix and match it, have fun with the set. And that's the first floor. Hey, pretty simple stuff, right? Okay, let's go to the next floor. Okay, so to get this part off, it comes off in two sections. So we're gonna pull this part off first, which, you know, kudos, it goes off nicely. And you have to take off this part, which is the worst part. This rooftop, we'll come back to that. All right, any guesses what this room is? 
you start to get to know these things after a while. The second floor is like an apartment. I flip it underneath on this side, you can see how it's being held down. It's pretty secure. No complaints about this room except for the, the floppy door. So we come into this room by that green door from the outside and you work your way in. It's all tiled. Yahoo. The colors though, mm, I don't know about the colors. Plain patterns. Yeah, you got the little yellow when you come in and then you got a little red shelf next to it. Or oh, I think that's like the area where you put your shoes away and you sit down there on that box and change the shoes or whatever. And you come into this living room. Now the TV entertainment area is actually pretty creative how they made that. You know, it's very simple pieces. You guys can actually look at this and make it yourself. Wow. And that is a print, the guy playing the guitar. But the speakers looks really good. I like that. And above the TV, you got this painting. It's a little bit all over the place, but I guess they're trying to be artistic. And it's not a print, at least. Brick built. And you got these bright yellow curtains by the window. And I think underneath the window, I can't tell if that's a shelf, drawers. Yeah, probably. Then you got the table there. And that is a print, 5G network. Is that from another set? Did they steal that? Oh, hey man, I'm all for the prints. Then you got the sofa, it's the same kind of design seen before. Now the little stand next to it is a tile that's flipped upside down. That's actually pretty clever. Does it bother you guys that it's like, oh, that's the other side. That's the bottom side of the tile. That shouldn't be like that. I kind of like it. You can probably put like extra pots in there and stuff. And you got another print up there of Egypt, the pyramids. Very cool. And I guess this is like the dining area. And there was one flower I was missing in the middle of the table there. But seriously, this comes with so many accessories. I wasn't even like phased about it. Will I get that one replaced? Probably not. I don't know if that's a mistake in the manual. The chairs there are really close to each other by the wall. I did not make a mistake on that. It actually shows how to put the chairs down like that, but okay. Yeah, you can always change that if you want. And another nice little print of a landscape back there. All right, then we come into this kitchen area. To me, the most interesting thing in the kitchen is the fridge. That was actually a pretty clever idea that you, you build that and it functions just fine. Thank goodness for that because later on you're gonna see some weird cabinet designs. It looks like milk there on the second shelf and on the bottom I used my leftover tiles and I just filled it in myself. Yeah, you can leave that empty. But hey, cool. Brick built, little refrigerator. Got a trash can, I guess, there. And there's the red piece that was sticking out like a sore thumb on the other side. It's the, actually the stove vent. They do have a little oven there. You got cutting board area and a sink. Two more cabinets along the top. Very minimal as far as kitchen goes, but at least you got a kitchen. Now this door to the bathroom is totally fine. It's not loose. Maybe it's just a design thing, man. Depending on the color of the door. Yeah, look at this bathroom. I like how it's all tiled. They use like uh, the swivel. I don't know what those are called, man. You connect the swivel pieces on there, and, like rotate it, but they use those pieces down below. Kind of gives it like a tiled look. Like it really is like a bathroom in there. There's the toilet, very simple, and a sink. That's all there is to it. Why is there a hook next to the toilet? I'm just wondering if I put that piece in wrong. Oh well, toilet paper holder. And last but not least, you got the staircase that goes up into the last floor. And I like the staircase, by the way, it's sturdy. They, it's simple, but hey, they could have just done that for the other parts of this build. And it's even got like a little area inside. You can't get to it, but at least you can see in there. Maybe one day a cockroach will crawl up in there and be like, yo, what's up, Mr. Roach? That would terrify me. This is a sturdy room though, gotta admit that. And I noticed the windows actually protrude pretty far out, like the awning bits of it. I sure hope I did that right. Well, it looks like you can totally dangle more things from the bottom up there if you wanted to. Put some more lights on it or something. All right, let's go to the worst part of the set. This right here, in my opinion, it's the worst build. Watch this. See how fast that came apart? First of all, disappointing, they didn't use much of this at all. So without the rooftop here, you actually still have a little bit of room here. Would have been nice to make a little bit of extra something there. They could have put like a drop down ladder and you guys have to do that yourself. You know, this thing falls apart way too easy. I think it's the weight issue. If you don't tile it, it's light, it's okay. But you only have this one plate there. The ones on the end even pop off pretty easy. The Zing Bao thing, man, look at that. So when you try to press down on it, it's just like that. Come on, Zing Bao. All they had to do was just secure it a little bit more, you know? I just use my extra piece. I'll just keep this on here. 
That was an easy fix right there. Now it's totally fine. Put your extra bare part down there, hold it down better, and you'll be totally fine. So now I'm happy. So we come to the last room here. Dun 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 dun. The bedroom. There's the underside where it's held down. Right here. This white plate underneath this rail was melted off. So I'm having a replacement sent to me, but I was building going, oh, you know, it's just like this piece right there. I can get away with it with this review. I can just show you guys and fix this up later or else we'd have to wait for the piece to arrive, which can take like months. All right, let's continue. We come up into this room and nice, nicely tiled there. Got this red cabinet, which very reminds me of the ones in the lookout tower. If you haven't watched that, that was a very cool little review. On the top of the cabinet, you got a couple. I'm guessing those are toys. It looks like they took that from the Harry Potter set for Star Wars. They got a little chihuahua there. And got a nice little lamp. Then we got the desk. The morning news, rising house prices. What set is that from, the tile? It's gotta be from somewhere, right? They all the masters, you let me know. Nice, simple little desk there, and you got the bookshelf there. That really reminds me of the Zingbao bookstore, where they do the books like that. And yeah, there's the windows there. So you got those pieces. So you can just simply lift it up here, if I can get it up, there. Yeah, see, it's just, it's just on a clip. There you go, with or without, very easy to apply. You're just using this one by six pieces and you're swinging it back down like that. This has got to be the weakest build of a cabinet. Basically doors are put onto the top of each other. So, you know, if you open one, it's probably gonna open the other below it. And there's nothing supporting the piece on top. If you push down too hard, it will collapse on you. So they could have fixed that by making it a little bit higher and maybe putting another plate, like a two by eight along the top to kind of just flush it down so it holds better. Not sure why they went this way. Maybe they felt like it didn't have to be fully secure on the inside. A lot of you might like it like that. Just don't mind the interior being minimized and there you go. That's the most minimized cabinet I've ever built. Got the bed here, which looks very low to the ground now that I'm looking at it. Like, whoa. Maybe it's a waterbed. Figures are gonna slip off that thing. They got like a little stand in front of it, or a box. It's even higher than the bed. Got another window there, same deal. We got three curtains. You can probably just take them all off. Next to the bed, got a nightstand. Very simple, easy. And uh, above the bed, you got this picture. Another tiled piece of mountains. Someone really likes landscapes in this set. And in this corner, you got another little nightstand with a drawer and a small little plant there in the corner. The only thing I guess they could really fit in there, right? And that's it. Tiny little room. And then finally, you got the rooftop piece here, which maybe I kind of screwed up how I was supposed to place it. That doesn't matter. I wonder if I could pull the whole thing up. Oh, I'm just gonna don't screw it up. There. There you go. See that? You do have another little room there. So there's like two extra kind of rooms in the set where they could have made it like more fun or did something to it. Now I gotta figure out how to put this back on. There you go. The flower shop. Let's look at accessories real quick. So we got this tiny little wheelbarrow. Now they didn't include the wheel for my wheelbarrow. Come on, Zingba man. Missing piece, no problem. This is a legit Lego wheel that I just took from one of my Easter sets. Fits on there just fine. But I like the add-on and I like the color of it. Kind of looks cool right there when you put it on the set. So yeah, there you go. Got a wheelbarrow for you. Now for the accessories. So here's the first set of utensils that you do get. I did not take any of these off. I probably won't end up really using these. We'll probably go into the spares, but there you go. That's one. Now you get flowers, bugs, butterfly, red right there. Not enough for you yet. Get a set of yellow ones there. Do you need more? Get a set of red ones. There. I thought, did they just duplicate this? Yeah, it looks like they duplicated this. <laughs> Why'd you have to duplicate it for? Put in this finest with one. You need even more? Purple. Looks like I only used one little purple flower there. Was I supposed to use more? Is that enough for you guys yet? No? Okay. How about some white ones? Got white. Yeah, man, you get a whole pack with this. It's almost like worth it just for the set, right? You got more? Okay, last one, the tools for the garden. So these are for the minifigures, for the figures. They're compatible with minifigures anyway. There you go, look at that. 
Lots of accessories. You can go nuts with this thing. Now let's look at the figures. Okay, we're looking at seven different types of figures. These are very similar to the latest Chinatown series, but of course, this is a totally different era. See for yourself if you like these, or just use your own minifigures for the sets. Start with this guy first. The first thing I laughed at was their shoes. Like, oh, they each have individual shoes. They, they kind of had to do the splits a little bit, but they do fit on a standard stud, so that's pretty funny. Printing looks fine on them though, to be honest with you. And they have these anime eyes, so sometimes I get mixed up. They like, just use the guy or the girl's body, that kind of thing. And they use rubber hair pieces here, but it looks okay if, if you're into this thing. They do kind of articulate a little bit. They can bend over. They can moon you. Anyway, there's this guy. Maybe he's the customer or the flower shop owner. Who knows? Okay, we got this guy who is, I'm pretty sure is the groom. Cause he's gonna get married because I see the bride. Same deal. Shoes, funny. Printing on his tuxedo looks okay. So there he is. And then you got this, I think that's the right face I used. I don't even know anymore. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can mix and match all the faces with these guys. Oh, this person is supposed to be the photographer. That's cool, man. I guess the couple are getting married here. Printing looks fine on her, brown, and wearing a cap there. The cap is a plastic piece. Okay, now we got grandma here. I put one of the accessories on her. She looks like the gardener for the flower shop. Yeah, I like, I like the wrinkles on her face. The printing, the brown looks fine. That's kind of cool how they did the dress. She fits on four studs just fine. And yeah, I kind of like the grandma, it's cool. Rubber piece hair again. Then we come to this lady. She looks like she works here. So that looks like the employee. I like her suspenders. She looks just fine. Rubber long hair piece. I find the rubber hair pieces kind of fall off these guys pretty easily. Okay, now we got the bride to be. I like her crown. I like her white dress, a little bit of pink on there. Big blue eyes, nice hair. Cool, she's getting married in this place or taking her photographs there. Last but not least, you got this lady who's going to go shopping. And yeah, her, her outfit looks kind of fun, summery. I like the hair piece, like tied up in the buns. So that's cool. It is now time for dimensions. I'm gonna do a comparison right now with some modulars sitting here. So while I measure this sucker out, you guys can see for yourself how it sits. How does that look to you? So in the middle, it's a Parisian restaurant from Lego. She looks really good. I think it's one of my top five modular buildings. Even though it's slightly older, it's still worth it. If you get your hands on it, get it! And over here is the Mold King's Afternoon Tea Restaurant, which is available on my store. And the flower shop. It's the only thing I can think of that goes with these sets, you know? How's that look? Yay? Nay? So I'm gonna flip the flower shop around, break out your one by four brick so we can check the height of this. I'm gonna stack this up here and let it touch the tippy top of this little thingy right there. And that is 39 bricks in height. And the more I look at it, the more I think, this thing is actually pretty tall, man. In fact, if I pull this other set out, like that right here, this is official Lego. I have to mention it's official Lego so you guys don't freak out. This is the Lego firehouse. And I, I got this recently, it wasn't too long ago. No, maybe it's been a couple of years. I absolutely love this set too. One of my favorites. Why am I not reviewing this? It takes time. But yeah, as I was saying, look at the height. The flower shop is actually taller than the Ghostbuster firehouse. So if you wanted to know, there you go. It is actually pretty tall. It just seems like modelers are getting bigger and bigger. You know, let's just flip all these around to their back. <laughs> Slide it, slide it. There we go. Oh, the doctors are still there from the last story. Sorry, Doc. Deer and Scotty have portaled out of there. Where are they? I don't know. Oh, no, word. Oh, this is the chimney. It's missing that piece. There we go. Found you. All right. There you go. Now it's time to drop this thing. You know, everything's going to fall off the set, I can tell you right now. The roof. The flowers, goodbye set, been nice knowing ya. Zing bao, don't let me down on the next one. Five, four, three, two, one.
Okay, I knew this was gonna fly off. Yeah, that flew off. Oh, look, it was saved by the ground floor. This is how we do the real test, right? Make sure to see what has fallen. There goes the other rooftop. Told you, flowers will fall, man. There they go. I forgot to talk about this little bush. It's a nice bush, man. Take off this floor. Oh, oh yeah, that would separate anyway. This one, sturdy. This one, lovely. Yeah. Ah. So to be expected, flowers, that little rooftop, put extra plates on there, you'll be just fine. Now I gotta use the tweezers to put the flowers back. No! There you guys go. The flower shop from Sing Bao. Available on BringMeUpScotty.com. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging in there. I'll get you more videos for this year. That is my goal. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe! Man, these are dusty. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, bring me out! Let me make the thumbnail right now. Yeah, you're lucky I didn't film this thing on the whole time. Kinda liking this now, feels good. Yeah. Flower power! I have to pretty myself up for this, you guys. This set could actually use more flowers. I don't have enough flowers on there, so I don't have any fresh flowers. I think I totally did this rooftop wrong. I had to keep checking if I did things right or wrong in the set. Scotty! Man, I don't even know if I got this right or wrong. It's kinda cool with just this part. But, 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 but.